everyone. So I was going to do one more video today. I haven't had this kind of video on my channel yet, but I happen to love diamond painting. When I don't have enough energy to come up with anything creative, it's something that I tend to do. <clears throat> and I ordered these from uh, AliExpress and they came pretty quickly. Hold on, they package them really well. Um, I don't know if there's one or two in this box, so we're gonna find out what's in here together because I don't even remember. So let's take a look. And I thought I'd show you how they come, what is in there, and we'll go from there. All right, so they're always, oh, it looks like there's two in here. And they're always good enough to send this little tray, some wax. These tweezers, if you're a scrapbooker, are so great for using for scrapbooking embellishments. I don't use them for diamond painting, but I love them for scrapbooking. The little wax stuff, the tray, this one has a, just a little pen thing. I like to use a little grippy thing on there. And then this one, oh, same exact set. So another set of tweezers, the wax, the tray, and the little drill pen. So this is terrifying. Oh, I have a beautiful elephant and this geisha that I've been wanting forever. So if you see here, it's very muted, the kind of colors and feel of it. So that's my elephant. And I'll have a geisha, but let's look at the elephant for now. Let's see, these aren't huge. I'm doing a giant one right now, so trust me, these are not that big. So for my elephant, <laughs> the painting is 45 by 60 centimeters. And ugh, doesn't feel very wrinkled, which is great. The canvas is super nice. You can see how nice and nubby it is. And I will end up, um, I don't know if I'll end up cutting these into further strips. I probably will. I like to work in small sections. But see, so you peel it back and it has this really super sticky stuff there. And see the little squares? They look very small. <laughs> I, w I wear my reading glasses when I do them. But the, uh, the beads, like there's a number four and a lavender color there, right? And there's a bead in my gigantic set of beads that will correspond to the number four and lavender. See right there's a number four, right there. And it's color number 208. And you stick that little bead on there and you go along. These are square drills. So let's see if they package them. Sorry about the crinkles, guys but I wanted to open it with you. So they packaged them very, very nice. The color number for the drills is right on the bag. They are all in one little piece. And so I will go ahead and inventory them against my list that somehow went away already. So I will inventory them, here it is, against the list to make sure that I have the right amount of bags for the, uh, for the colors, and then I'll put it aside till I have time to work on it. And the uh, the next one with the geisha, which I have been wanting for so long, you have no idea. I hope it comes out nice in this size. Um, it's muted colors again, which I really like in uh, Asian looking paintings and art. But isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. Look at the, so the colors are muted and all that kind of stuff. So. If anybody is into diamond painting, uh, the first thing I'll let you know is I will be putting these canvases underneath one of our beds. We have One of our beds has some twin size mattresses. I will store them there so that they can flatten out nicely. The next thing I will do is go ahead and inventory them, the inventory sheets versus the drills, and then I'll package them back together in a Ziploc baggie and when it's time to work on them then I will put them into storage containers to work on as I go. 
So if anybody has any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. And if you'd like me to start a series on diamond paintings, I would be happy to jump in that with you as well. Like how I store things, when I work on them, any questions you have, I would be happy to answer you how I do it. Okay, everybody. We'll see you later. Let me see your diamond paintings too if you want to leave a link or anything like that. Okay, bye-bye.